what is up love it's a girl back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how i edit my pictures um so the app that i use is visco 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 cam and what i normally do with my pictures is i just add like a filter on it and just do like the enhance like the contrast and stuff that's like literally all i do with my pictures and today i'm just going to be showing you like different filters and settings almost like presets that you guys can also use on your pictures and yeah before we get into the video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and yeah let's just get started okay so the first picture we are going to edit is this one right here um i normally like my pictures to be vibrant like my instagram it doesn't really have like a specific theme but i do like to go for like like a hint of blue in my pictures and you know because i love blue and so for this picture um i think we are going to use the filter c9 on visco now i do have the full visco and i know i don't know if c9 is included in the normal visco but i do have like some settings that are also like that you can use in like your normal visco if that makes sense yeah so um for this one i think i'm going to use a photo c9 so what i do is i go to c9 so it gives like that vibrant color thing and then for my c9 photos um underneath it i like to go for like the exposure so i like to lower my exposure to minus 1.5 um yeah it just like brings down like that shadow effect if you know what i mean it's not like it doesn't make the pictures like too bright um so yeah so my exposure we're gonna go to like minus 1.5 you can obviously like lower it even more if you prefer it that way um but i think that looks fine and then we're also gonna come to the contrast and we're gonna bring it up to plus one so the contrast we're gonna go to the plus one just like that and then also we're gonna go to the white balance i think it's a thermometer thing <laughs> it's a thermometer icon and then for your temperature i like to bring it up a notch make it like summery you know like that vibrant so we're gonna go for plus 1.7 and then we're gonna add the turn to plus 1.1 just like that yeah and then for your skin tone i like to bring it down to one point minus 1.5 for the skin tone so the skin tone just gives you like that glowy on your skin that makes sense um 1.5 minus 1.5 like i was the skin tone and yeah then there you have it before and after um so yeah that's like one of the things you can do with your pictures and then we're gonna go to the next one give you more into like vintage vibe that uh old school vibe and vibe if you know what i mean so we're gonna edit this picture and for this picture i want to use the filter j5 the j filters are usually like your old like vintage vibe so you can go through that as well um but the filter that i do like for my vintage pictures is j5 so what i do for this use the filter j5 and then for my exposure again i bring it up down a notch to minus 1.5 um and then my contrast i add it to plus one and then by the white balance the temperature is plus 1.7 and the tint is plus 1.1 and then obviously you bring it down the skin tone to 1.5 and then to add like extra vintage vibe i like to add some grains to it and i just add it to like a plus three yeah so basically it's the same setting as the c9 except you use the folder j5 but you just add grains to it and yeah here's the before and after i think it looks super duper like cool and vintage vibe and yeah on to the next one okay and then on to the next one is like for beach photos that you can use to like darken your picture as well so this is like my favorite filter that i do normally choose which is the hb2 yeah so what i want to do here is i want to bring down the exposure to minus one and then i want to bring up by the tones for the highlights i want to bring up to like 3.1 just to give it like that glowiness if you know what i mean um and then for like 
the white balance your temperature i want to bring it to minus 0 0.5 because of like the blue sky and like the cold temperature of blue just puts together um yeah so the tins i'm gonna bring it up to plus 2.1 and then the skin tone i'm gonna go to minus 3.8 yeah just to give it that like a tan look but not really yeah and then there you have it before and after i think like it's super cool um super cool if you want to like make the sky so much vibrant or like give the sky like so much color and stuff so yeah and then the next one we're gonna do a like a black and white um black and white edit i know you can just like slap on a black and white um photo i always like to like do the extra stuff i don't know why um it just like makes the picture look way better so for the black and white um i'm going to go for the photo zero one okay zero one and then what i want to do is bring down the exposure just a little bit to like minus 0 0.5 just a little to give it like you know like the shadow just like yeah picture a bit more shadow you know if i make sense um but yeah exposure i'm gonna bring it down to minus 0 0.5 and then for my controls i'm gonna bring it up to 0 0.6 just a little bit just like that and then for my tone the highlights i'm just gonna bring it up all the way up to plus five and then for the white balance the temperature i want to lower it down i just to bring down like that brightness i want to lower it down to, um, to minus 0 0.5 and bring the tint up to plus two and then the skin tone on minus 2.5 and then just to give like that extra shadow like that extra room if i could say that way i want to bring the fade up to just like 1.5 you can bring it up more but i think 1.5 should be fine yeah and then here you have it the before and the after yeah so that's your black and white pictures and yeah that's basically photos or presets that you can use for your pictures and i hope you really enjoyed the video and i hope you try them out and yeah i'll see you next time bye